So guys, I think I've come to the realization that I don't like to sell button up shirts. It just takes so long to list. There's just like all the measurements that you've got to do, the photographs, everything. the whole process of listing shirts and to get a net result of about a $15 profit for me at least anyway, I think I might stop doing button up shirts. Let me know in the comments below, what item have you stopped wanting to sell on eBay? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. This is the Sunday show where I take you through my best sold sales items of the week. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a pretty good week yourself. I've been doing okay. A few cool sales to take you through today. I've got a really good featured reseller of the week as well to take you through and I wanna take you through my sales numbers as well. So there's a little bit of stuff to talk about today. I've picked some really cool items, some items that I think you can hopefully go out and find yourself that have gone on to sell really well for me. So if you get anything out of it, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, Button. Let's dive into the first one. So the TV series is Chuck, and I personally haven't watched it myself, but I have heard that it is a pretty good show, and I probably should. Uh, it's set it up selling for $82.95, and I've paid just $2 per DVD here. So I've ended up paying 10 bucks, take out the fees and the postage. I've profited $64.60 and a 30-day sales cycle, so it's not too bad at all. Look, people ask me, is there money in DVDs? And the answer is absolutely there is. I tend to find that I spend a lot of time sifting through the DVD rack, or at least I used to. I no longer do that now. I'm pretty much just looking for TV seasons and collecting bundles just like this. Um, they tend to go on to sell best. It's more of a needle in a haystack type scenario to try and find that tween to $30 DVD in a, in a bunch of hundreds. I don't have the time to go and sift through each and every one. So this is my approach now when it comes to DVDs, just doing TV seasons and getting deals like this done. So really happy to find every single episode of Chuck here, seasons one to five. If you can find it, you'll make around the $80 so it's not too bad at all. Now, I actually didn't know with this next item exactly what I had my hands on. I thought this was just another pair of football boots. It was the Nike Tiempo Legends, and these shoes are actually worth a bit of money. They're a 2012 pair. Uh, they are pretty rare, the black and the white color. I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning is behind it, but I've done my research. I've searched the style code, and I've seen that these actually go on to sell upwards of $150 on eBay. There was quite a few sales around that price point. So I really, after doing that research just matched the comps and then in the space of just two days these must be a really rare pair of football boots they've gone on to sell internationally for $179.99 so about $150 for the shoe $30 worth of a shipping cost that shipping cost ended up working out to $27.67 it was sent in a medium international post satchel uh, to the United States uh, there was fees of $26.99 guys for a single pair of football boots found in the option shop for just $7. I've profited $118.33, just crazy. I talk about football shoes quite a lot on this channel, and this by far would be my best ever football boot sale. But do look out for them, guys, because you just never know what you get your hands on. And do a bit of research and get the right price, and you'll make some really good money like this. Now, I'm a big believer in affluent suburbs provide better op shop items. And I've got a few around my local area that are really good suburbs, and so I, I do circulate those op shops quite a bit. I've been able to find this polo shirt out of one of these stores that can actually go for upwards of $350 in brand new condition. The, the brand is Moncler and I'd never heard of this brand before. I've only paid $6 in the op shop for it. But like I said, brand new uh, Moncler polo shirts can go for $350. Used condition, they can be anywhere between sort of $80 to $100. And I've ended up selling this one for $100. So just a standard men's plain red polo shirt, but it's got the label Moncler on it. So it is worth quite a bit of money. Um, this one's uh, $18. I, I did send it internationally. Um, I believe it went to the United States. Again, um, $18 shipping uh, the fees were $15 and I've ended up profiting on this single men's polo shirt double XL in size $67 worth of a profit a two-day sales cycle guys so this one is sought after the Moncler brand is one to definitely be on the lookout for now guys you would have seen in my recent trip to the thrift episode a couple of weeks ago now I picked up the Nike Hyperdunks uh, really cool pair of shoes they were in pretty much like new condition they were a US size 13 uh, I do love finding shoes in the thrift let alone a pair of Nike Hyperdunks I was pretty excited
excited when I found them. They did have a $20 tag on them though, and I never really hesitated on that price. I thought that I could get some good money for them. Um, I've ended up selling them for $79.99. I did really kind of match the comps on eBay. I thought that I could get a little bit more for them, but it wasn't ended up being the case. I was still happy with $80. You take out the fees and the posts, and I've ended up making a $34.64 profit. So I always say on this channel, I like to profit $30 with my shoes. So even buying these at 20 bucks, I was able to get a sale price that led to the $35 profit. So I was really happy with the result on these ones and they did just sell within the space of a week. I put out a recent video around my shoe selling and Nike is the best brand that I sell. So when you're looking for shoes, if you're wanting to get into reselling, Nike's the best brand, Nike's the best brand to look out for. Speaking of really good brands to be on the lookout for, guys, the other one is Stussy. I do a lot of Stussy or Stussy, whatever you guys want to call it. This brand sells very well. $9 was my purchase price for this one. Now, this was the Aperture jacket. Um, it was a full camouflage, as you can see by the photos here. Um, I, I did go international post again with this one. There's been quite a number of international sales made. Uh, it's ended up selling total cost of $89.99 for this men's jacket. Just a long sleeve button up, um, camouflage color. It did look pretty cool. It was brand new with tags, I actually should mention as well. Um, when you take out the fees and the postage, I've profited $40.37. This one, again, was over 500 grams. So when it went internationally, it did go in a medium satchel for $27.13 to the United States. Um, so $40 profit there, a seven-day sales cycle. Stussy, Stussy, whatever you want to call it, it's a brand to be on the lookout for. Now, guys, I'm also a big believer when you're out in the thrift to actually just buy items that you personally like the look of. If it's not your size, and you can't wear it yourself, chances are somebody's gonna to wanna to buy it out there just because you like it. Now, I've ended up buying this one here for $5. This was a vintage Brooks jumper. Now, Brooks is a great running shoe brand, but when I saw the jumper, I liked the look of it and I thought that I could make a few on it. It was a very low cost of only $5. There were no comps at all on eBay to go off with this item. I've gone ahead and randomly listed it for $70 just to see how I'd go. And I ended up taking a best offer after 92 days for $57. So $57, a random jumper that I personally like the look of in the thrift has gone on to profit me $37 after fees and postage. So really good one there, guys. You don't always have to rely on the comps on eBay to determine whether or not you should buy an item. Sometimes just go on the gut. Now, guys, let me know in the comments if you have seen this brand, have you sold this brand, um, because it sells really well on eBay, and I've only just realized it buying my first one. Uh, the brand is Ringers Western, and I've been able to sell this uh, button-up shirt that I found, a long-sleeve Ringers Western button-up shirt. I've paid $8 in the op shop for it, and it's gone on to sell for $43.50. Guys, I listed this one up for $49.99, best offer, and I did take the $43.50 in the end. The fees and the postage, I've ended up profiting $22.29. Not a bad result for a button-up shirt. I can generally profit anywhere between $15 to $20 for button-up shirts. So to get a $43.50 sale price, this is definitely above average. So Ringers Western, a pretty cool brand that goes on to sell for some pretty good money when you do some searching for it on eBay. So do look out for it, guys. A 57-day sales cycle. I'll pretty much always buy this brand now when I find it. Now, this one was a pretty crazy sale, guys. It's probably definitely been the best of the month for me. I've only paid $10 dollars for it in the thrift. It's gone on to sell in a 50 day sales cycle. It was the Patagonia full body wetsuit. It was a three millimeter beauty. This one has gone on to sell for $200. Now, look, it is a $650 wetsuit and it was in really good condition. 50 days ago when I first listed it, I did put it up for $400 and uh, I took a lot of offers. I took a lot of offers along the way and kept declining, kept saying no, kind of hanging out between $300 to $350. And I just couldn't get anybody offering me anything over 200 bucks. I probably declined about 10 offers over the journey and uh, they were all around that $200 price point. So in the end, I just said yes and accepted one of them and uh, took a really good profit of $148.60. It's, it's commonly an item I think that people will pass on in the op shops. You'll walk right past them, yet they'll always be in there to some degree. As long as you're buying the right brand and the right type of wetsuit, Patagonia obviously being the right one, but there's really a Lot of money to be made and certainly this time of year in australia at least anyway there's a lot of people needing wetsuits for the colder weather so it's a really good one to look out for i've made 150 bucks it's definitely been the best item i've sold on ebay this month
And the last one that I've personally got for you in this episode today, guys, is the G-Star jeans. Now, I've done a lot of denim lately. I've really pivoted from turning away from sort of button-up shirts and I'm moving more into denim. There's just more money to be made. I liken my profits to what I do with my shoes when I'm selling my jeans. If I could be making around a $30 profit, I'm generally pretty happy. Now, these G-Star jeans were a really good pair. These were the Radar Straits. There's so many different variations of G-Star jeans. The Radar Straits can go on to sell for about $60 on eBay. So I was very happy to find them in the op shop. I paid $14 for them. So I'm happy to pay a little bit more if I can get top end dollar and a $60 top end dollar would be what I'd be happy with. These sold for $57.50. So take out fees and postage. There's about my $30 profit that I like to make with my jeans, $28.47. So a very fast sales cycle, guys. Just eight day turnaround on these ones. To make around the $30, it wasn't the only pair of G-Star jeans I've sold this month. There were quite a few around this $60 price point. So a really good brand of denim jeans to be on the lookout for if you're trying to sell a few. So they were my nine best sold sales items of the last three weeks, basically. Hope you got some value out of those. I really try to pick some brands in there that you guys can go and hopefully find yourself and, and at least put it into your memory bank to know that they are good items to find. So hopefully you got some value. Hit the like button if you did. We'll now dive into our featured reseller of the week. And this week, I'm really excited to get these guys on. I've been following them on Instagram and on their YouTube channel now for quite a while. Camilla and Kang are the couple. Now, they've only just got recently married, so congrats, guys, if you're watching this. Um, they've, uh, they've, they've given me a really unique item as well for today's episode as, as a featured reseller of the week. They've, they're very much part-time. They're doing this, uh, basically, they're the fee or financial independent resellers. So they're, they're using the money that they're making through reselling to be their side hustle to obviously get to financial independence. So a really cool story. What a lot of you guys are doing out there is working a full-time job and putting this reselling game as your side hustle, which is a great way to go about it. And these guys are doing some really good sales, I will say. And there was one here that I wanted to put into the episode that they've given me, which was this quilt. And uh, I was actually just on a trip to the thrift with Bron just last week on Thursday, and she did the same thing. She bought a quilt, bought a, a blanket, and apparently these things go on to sell for some money. So after that, when these guys sent it through, I wasn't surprised to see that this had a really good sales result. So they've paid two Two dollars seventy-five over in the states, and uh, they've ended up selling it for hundred and sixteen dollars and twenty cents. I'm blown away by these numbers. I just personally wouldn't think that there's that much money in this sort of an item. So, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, guys, they've ended up profiting seventy-seven dollars and fifteen cents, and it sold within the same day. So a really fast sales cycle, a huge profit off a very low purchase price. It's almost the reseller's dream worth of an item here. Um, so well done, guys. I thought I would highlight that item for you. But for anyone else out there watching Camilla and Kang, uh, go and check out their YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. Watch all of their videos. They're a really cool couple. Just got married, just had their honeymoon. Things are going really great for them. And they're making some really great sales as well. So well done, guys. I'll uh, put you down as our featured reseller of the week. All right, guys, I'll take you through my weekly sales numbers now just to let you know how I'm going. So this will be for the last seven days from Monday last week to today. Uh, if we pull the table up and uh, give you a look at the numbers, I've been able to sell 44 items this week. So not too bad. I'm generally averaging around 50 and it is only 9 a.m. on a Sunday currently. So I'm really hoping that I get an extra six and we can tick that up to 50 for the week. Uh, total revenue, I'd like to get that to 2,000. I'm at 18.53 currently as it stands. The fees are 270. $78. The postage is $350 and I've bought about $340 worth of inventory. Um, so my net cash flow position outside of the business, what's left over, $881.97. So guys, it's been a, uh, a pretty consistent week for me is what I'll say. I wouldn't say it's an awesome week. I wouldn't say it's a bad week. It's just been a week that I'm generally always after. $960 in cash flow after you've bought new inventory for the week as well is the figure that I need. So I'm, I'm only $80 in profit or, or net cash flow needing today. I need that figure, that $80 figure today to get to the $960, which is the weekly goal. That 960 over the course of a year works out to a $50,000 a year salary. That is what I'm documenting on this channel. So pretty much that's the blueprint I feel like is what I need. I need to be selling about 50 items. I need to be doing a total revenue of about $2,000 a week. Um, and then I take out the fees, postage, new inventory. I'll probably need to be buying about $400 to $500 worth of new inventory a week. I'm realizing that that's basically the, bl the blueprint of what I need to be a full-time reseller. The good thing is, 
I'm now doing that on a very much a consistent basis. I'm generally hitting two grand in revenue every single week uh, over the last sort of seven to eight weeks. So things are moving really well, um, ticking along well, um, happy with it so far, just gonna keep charging, keep listing, keep doing all the little things that I, I speak about on this channel as well. International postage has been a big one, um, but doing my uh, sold, um, oh, sorry, end relist strategy that I talk about as well, I'm doing that every day, proving to uh, bring in some great results. So look, things are going well. Um, um, looking forward to next week and, and what May will bring. I'll be putting out a video on Tuesday around my April financial figures. I put a poll up on my Instagram as to whether or not you guys would want to see that. And I did get a 92% yes uh, to the financial figures uh, video. So that one is gonna be coming through on Tuesday. I've already crunched the numbers and uh, I'll bring you that information very shortly. But um, hopefully you've got some value out of this. Let me know if you want me to continue doing these What's Sold episodes as well on a Sunday. Um, look, I'm happy to mix the videos up and do some different things. If there's if there's any specific videos you guys would like me to do, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see the What Sold videos every Sunday, the Sunday show that I talk about, uh, let me know as well because I'm always really curious about what you guys are wanting to watch and I'm just wanting to bring you the content that you want to see. So let me know in the comments and um, I'll try and do uh, what you guys ask for. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one.